Hey everyone. My name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And this is a live online free InterNACHI webinar. We do a ton of free online classes. Um, and this one is about home inspector website design features that make money. And that is the goal of every home inspection business, right? And you got to get your business online with a good website. So if you're starting off, you don't want to pay a lot of money. I'll help you with that um, for a website. Um, you can get a fancy website. If you have a couple thousand dollars, go for it. But if you want to keep your money in your pocket, that's one thing that InterNACHI helps you do. We give you a ton of free stuff and we negotiate with our vendors, especially the, the webinar uh, website design company. And we make those vendors give discounts or low affordable services and products to our InterNACHI members. So we use our size in order to negotiate good prices for our members. So if you're ever talking to a vendor in the home inspection industry, ask them, what exclusive deal or discount can you give me because I'm an InterNACHI member? All right. So welcome to the member uh, webinar, free online home inspector website design features that make money. And again, my name is Ben Gramico. You should be able to hear me. I can't hear you. You should be able to see me. I can't see you, but you can chat. So there's a chat feature on your side during this live webinar. And there's also a Q&A button. You can ask questions and feel free to ask questions during the webinar. We're going to talk about a few things. We're going to talk about these 15 topics. Hope you can see that on your side. Oh, no, let's see. Let me share my screen. I got to do that. So let's share. There we go. So we're going to talk about these topics. We're going to look at the natcha.org slash webinar website. We're going to talk about the natcha.org slash website URL. So if you have some notes, take down these URLs, natcha.org slash webinar, natcha.org slash website. We're going to take a look at bigbeninspections.com. We're going to take a look at the website owners app, because if you have a website and you own that website, you should have an app so that you can manage that website. We're going to chat with visitors. That's one of the features that you need. If you have a home inspection business website, you need to chat with everyone that lands on your website. And I'm going to show you how that works. I have a website designed by inspectorwebsitebuilder.com. That's InterNACHI's official vendor for website designs. That's at Big Ben Inspections. And I have an app that my clients and their agents can download. All right? So. That comes with my website, that's a feature, so that my agent doesn't have to type in or my clients don't have to type in um, bigbeninspections.com in the URL with their thumbs and get it wrong. They just open up their phone, click my app, and they get to my website, and I'll show you that. I can also, if I was a big home inspection company, yeah, I may wanna go with an app that's on the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, right? You can do that as well. That's one of the features you could do to really look pro. Every website should have a feature like a blog. Every website should have an FAQ section. I'll show you that. Every website should have Google reviews. We're gonna go over that. We're gonna talk about content that's designed to convert. You don't have to, what do you put on a website? Hmm, well, let your website designer do that. Call me now button. You should have a call me now. I'll show you how that works. Certification, verification, and logos. Then analytics and reports, you should be able to see what your website is doing. What, how is it performing? If you have a website, you need to know how it's doing. You need to know the analytics. How many people visit your website? How many people, where do they go when they visit the website? What's the most important page? What's the top ranking page? We're going to talk about marketing and SEO. Your website designer should be doing SEO for you, and we'll show you about that. Although SEO is pretty standard. Just about every website has it. There's advanced SEO, you can get that. But really Google reviews is where um, you should be focusing on. Um, we're gonna talk about marketing planner. Every website should have like a calendar of what to do next. And then you post those marketing things through your website. And we'll talk about SEO. And then we'll talk about the forum and this article, Introduction to SEO, written by Alicia Gramico. All right. 
So that's the, those are the topics. We're going to get through all those topics. And if you have any chats, go ahead and chat. If you have any questions, post them. So let me make sure that you see what I'm doing, because I really can't tell. Somebody chat to see, tell me if you can see those topics, right? Can you see those topics on your side, on your screen? We're going to go over all these topics. Okay, great. Let me slide them away. Let's go to the first one, which is natchiorg slash webinar. And we're there. So natchiorg slash webinar. And we have a ton of webinars, right? And we're doing this one. Home Inspector website design features that make money. But um, there's one coming up that I really like. It's called leveraging your Google business profile to attract leads. So you have to have a Google business profile. We can talk a little bit about that through your website. And Natalie is going to talk about leveraging that Google business profile. That is the thing. That is what people see when they do a Google search and find you. How do you, how do you appear? What does your profile look like? online when you do a Google search. So you want to do that. Register for that webinar. And that's at natchiorg slash webinar. Now, where do you get a website? Go to natchiorg slash website, natchiorg slash website, and get a custom home inspection website. Uh, you can do home inspections or commercial property or mold inspections. Um, or you could be in Florida. I think they have a Florida template and get a custom website. Now we have secured a partnership with Inspector Website Builder. That's inspectorwebsitebuilder.com to offer design services, including SEO. It's exclusively for InterNACHI members. They only work for InterNACHI members. And if you're not a member and you like to try it, um, email them. They'll give you a free uh, web um, InterNACHI membership for a month. And it's down to $299 for one-time fee, design fee, $299. I know personally, there are other companies out there that design websites. They look pretty fancy, but take a look at the benefits. You hold up this company, Inspector Website Builder, see what they do for you and the cost. What you wanna do, especially if you are new, so you want to get your business online, make money, get a really good custom website that has features that make you money. And then if you want to blow $1,600, $2,000 on a fancy website, go ahead. But this is the first approach that I recommend. And make sure you own that website and you own that domain and you see the analytics and if someone says, well, we can't show you that kind of stuff because uh, it's built in WordPress, you run away. Whenever a website designer says, we build in WordPress, that's old school. That means they have an excuse for you not to know what is going on with your website. You run away from everybody who says WordPress, okay? Go to natchiorg slash website to get a good website. You wanna see a good website? Go to mine, bigbeninspections.com bigbeninspections.com. I like this website. I don't do home inspections in North Carolina anymore, right? This is just a teaching website. So there's a couple of things that I like in this website and there's a couple of things that could be tweaked. And I like it when you take a look at what should be tweaked and what should be better. That'd be awesome. Take a look at my website and critique it for me. See what you like and don't like. Here's what I love about bigbeninspections.com. As soon as you land on it, you know that you've landed on the right website because my clients are looking. They need a home inspector who's certified, guaranteed, and is the best. And as soon as they land there, they don't see a picture of a fancy house. They see a picture of what they are about to buy. They are about to buy this inspector. So you should do this. You should have this on your website a picture of you. We call it the hero image. You are the hero. You are the thing that your clients are looking to buy. So give them what they're searching for immediately in the header, in the big image on your website. Give them exactly what they're looking for. They're not looking for a fancy, expensive home. 
That's what a lot of website design companies do. They put these weird mansions on their homepage, like they're selling real estate or something. No, you got to sell you, right? That distinguishes you from all the rest. And tell them, this is a heading right here. You found the best inspector in Raleigh. And then tell them a little benefit about why they should hire you, right? Every page on my website, every section on my website is designed to sell, is designed to convert, is designed to encourage you to learn more about why you should hire me. It's designed to give you value. So right here is a lot of information, actually. I love it. I'm certified. I'm backed up with a guarantee. You can see that I'm the best inspector in Raleigh, right? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because look, look at my qualifications page, right? Go to my qualifications page and I've inspected over 10,000 homes since 1996. I'm also an instructor and I've taught most of the home inspectors in my area. Those are pretty good. So why, why did we hire this guy? He's inspected 10,000 homes. He's been in a business for like 30 years and he teaches other home inspectors. I can say that. What can you say that I can't say? What can you say that your competition can't say? These are called in you know, common marketing classes, um, unique selling points or unique value propositions, USPs or UVPs or something like that. Right. You have to think of what makes you different from all the rest. You have to figure out why should I hire you? You have to answer the question, why should I hire you instead of the next inspector, right? And one of the things that I do is I give tips for home buyers. This is a free booklet, an electronic booklet that Internachi publishes, and you can give it away for free. And you can download for free. Your clients can download this for you. Give them something of value. Tips for home buyers. Well, if I was a home buyer and I wanted some tips about buying a home, I'd download this thing. And maybe you could capture their email. This is a nice way to capture a potential client's email, contact information. Also, Google reviews. I don't do home inspection. I don't have any clients, but this is where you put Google reviews. You need Google reviews on your homepage. And you have to tell them what you do. We educate our clients. This is what we inspect. This is more personal information. This is some pictures of me. What really matters in a home inspection. This is my promise to you. This is what I'm promising to do for you. And here's my app, actually. And the other thing that I like is uh, a little chat feature that I have at the bottom. Boop. So let's see. Let's talk about what was our fourth thing. Our fourth thing was the website owner's app. Let me show you that. So I've shown off my website, right? Let me show you the website owner's app. Let's pull up my, here's my phone. Let's see, how can I do this? Let me get my windows just right. Let me move this over. I wanna show you my phone. Whoop. Here's my phone. Okay, I see a lot of you uh, landing on my website. So. Um, Let's say you're on, here's my phone. Okay, I think I got it, right? Land on my website, please. Somebody land on my website. I wanna show you what happens when somebody goes to bigbeninspections.com. Can somebody go there? I can do it too, if you wanna go. Somebody wanna land on my website, go to bigbeninspections.com, bigbeninspections.com. I can do it for you. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bigbeninspections.com. Let me move this over here. Get this just right. Okay. So when somebody lands on my website, thank you. Somebody lands on my website, I get notified. Can you see it coming through? This is my phone. And look how many. So I have my owner's app. My website design company gave me an app and my app is called the owner's app and it allows me to see everything that's taking place on my website, including visitors. So whenever someone visits my website, I, don't, I, can, I can delete this notification or I can have it live active on. I think when I do an email campaign as a home inspector, I would want to see people visiting my website there's 12 people visiting my website right now, right? This is great. This is great information. Every website design company 
should give you this. Ask them, do I get an app that allows me a notification every time someone visits? And if they don't have that, run away. Go to natchee.org slash website. Inspectorwebsitebuilder.com gives you an owner's app. Okay, everybody, thanks for, thanks for visiting. I would like to chat with one of these visitors. Really? Yeah. How do I do that? I'm going to chat with someone who's on my homepage in South Africa. What? what? Yeah. Ready? Let's see. I'm, so remember, someone's on my website over here, right? And this is my phone right here. And as an owner, I have access to this. Now I can talk to anybody instantly who's visiting my website, right? And I'm going to say, hey there, how are you, period, or question mark. How South Africa, question mark. This is just a test, period. This has been having fun, period. Happy face emoji, happy face emoji, happy face emoji. And I send that to that person who's on my homepage right now in South Africa. One of you is, is visiting my website right now, right, in South Africa. So they could chat if they wanted to. Oh, someone's typing. <laughs> someone's typing. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Now, if this was a potential client, right? What do I want from this potential client? Well, I want to immediately talk to anybody who's visiting me on my website, right? Through my owner's app. And again, this is through inspectorwebsitebuilder.com. So what I really want to do is I want to capture their name and phone number. That'd be really good. So I'm going to say something like, um, hey, it's great to talk with you, period. I'm in a crawl space right now, period. Why don't you text me over your phone number and we could talk later about anything that I can do for you, like a home inspection or a mold inspection in your area, period. How's that sound? Question mark. Happy face emoji, thumbs up emoji. <laughs> it's fun. You know, I'm trying to capture the lead. Every website should have this feature. This is one of the best features you can get from your website designer. And if they don't have it, that's okay. Like maybe you chose the wrong one or something, but I know a website designer who gives you this feature and it's at inspectorwebsitebuilder.com. And it's free. I don't pay for this. This isn't something extra. They don't charge for this. It just comes with the website, right? Um, so that's cool. That's a chat with visitors. So let me show you. Um, I have 15 visitors on my website right now. See this? Do you see this? I hope you guys, everybody can see this, right? Is everybody seeing my, this is creepy. <laughs> Lars said, this is creepy. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, does that app distinguish between a bot and a human visit? Um, it does, but you can tell, right? If it's a bot, usually bots are in and out really fast or they're hanging out for four hours on your website. You can you can do things like have a have a conversation with somebody, but you know if it's a bot, what are they trying to do? Trying to get you to do something like send credit card information over text? Well, just don't, right? You'll be able to see. Um, okay, so yeah, okay, everyone can see. Okay, so I have fourteen visitors on my website right now, and I can chat to any one of them, right? So I, I have fourteen visitors on my website right now. One's in Louisville, Detroit, Sitka, Alaska. Wow. Uh, Little River South, Puerto Rico. And I can tell, um, you know, if, 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 um, how about Stuart? Who's on, who's on my, who's in Stuart, Florida? You're on my homepage. Can you go to the next page? Just go to the next page. Watch. If they go to the next, if they're listening, sorry, I'm asking you to do things. This isn't, uh, practiced or anything. But if you go to the next, I can, sh I can see what pages you guys are on, right? I can see if you move to another page, there we go. See, um, somebody in Louisville went to services and fees, right? Now I know that they're on services and fees. So I can even say, I can even jump in and say, hey, I noticed you're taking a look at my services. Did you know I do mold inspections as well? Right? I can even just, I can just talk to this person. Oh, I love this. This is Eric P. I don't know who Eric P is. I probably do. Hey, Eric, what's going on? Good to talk with you. Thanks for um, fooling around with me. Awesome, right? Okay, I think you get it, right? You want an owner's app, right? Imagine talking to anybody instantly who's visiting your website 
and trying to convert with them, right? Okay, um, chat with visitors, my client. Oh, let me show you the rest of my, like I get this. See, this is my dashboard. This is my owner's app for Big Ben inspections. And this is my dashboard. I can see the analytics. And it looks like my site sessions oh, are going up. That's nice. And uh, no one's really looking at my post views, but that's okay. I, I can do that. Unique visitor. I got lots of unique visitors. I'm up in unique visitors and page views are uh, out of this world too. I can take a look at my blog posts as well. See, Skylights, I did six days ago. Let me see. I'm going to manage my blog from here, right? So I can manage my blog. I can see my comments and my posts, right? Um, what are other things? I've got my contacts. How about this? Uh, I got my inbox. Yep, I can I can see my inbox. And what's my um, site look like um, on my phone? I'll show you. This is what my site looks like on my phone. It looks just like my site on this way on my desktop, right? You found a best inspector in Raleigh, right? My services and fees, tips for home buyers. You can download it for free. See the little little circle down there with the three dots. All this comes with my website design. My website was designed by inspectorwebsitebuilder.com, inspectorwebsitebuilder.com, so, or natchi.org slash website. See the three little dots? If I touch that, you can phone me, you can email me, you can chat me. And that's a feature that every website design should have in order to make money. This is in control of your website and you don't pay for it. It's included with the internet you vendor for website designs. Let's go down. There's my Google reviews. I don't have any Google reviews. I don't have any clients, but that's where you should have your Google reviews, right? And all this fu funny stuff that pops up, boom, you know, looks really good. And then there's me again and all that stuff. Okay. Oh, what's, what does my menu look like? So I touch my menu and there's qualifications and services to be and schedule now, right? That's one of the most important things you want. You want to schedule now. You want to call me now button, right? I think that was one of our topics. We could just do it now. So if I click call me now, the, oh, let's do it from here. Wait, I wanna show you what it looks like on my phone, right? Let's see, let's see if I can go, or maybe somebody wants to do it for me, I don't know. Uh, if you call me now, right, call me now. This is your client, right? And you should have a call me now button on your website. It's free, provided by Internet Chief for free, and Inspector Website Builder put it on my website for free. Um, and this is your client, right? And there's, and they want you to call, they want the inspector to call them now. So this is um, uh, Mary Jones. And you know, Mary has my email address for some reason, right? This, remember, this is a potential client who wants the inspector to call her right now, right? That's my phone number. And she's like, call me, right? All right, call me. All right, I will. You hear that? That's Mary on the phone. Uh, hey, Mary, what's going on? <laughs> right? Potential client name. Mary Jones has requested that you call them at 303-862-2611. I got Mary's name and I got her phone number with a click of a button. Every website have should have this feature. Where do you get it? Well, Internet she has it for InterNACHI's vendor for website designs to embed on their clients' websites for free. You could do it as well. It takes some coding. You gotta copy, you gotta select your button, you have to copy the embed code and you gotta put it on your website. So you have to have that kind of access to your website. And if you don't wanna do it, if that's too much, just have InterNACHI's vendor for website designs do it for you. This is a great feature. Look how fast, look how fast I can talk to anybody who visits my website through chat and look how fast I can talk to anybody who wants me to call them like that. This is how you make money. You don't just let people visit your website and hope that they schedule with you. But let's say that they want to schedule with you online because not a lot of people like to talk anymore. They don't like to talk anymore, right? So here's what I have. I have my website design company, inspectorwebsitebuilder.com, put my online scheduling feature on my schedule now page, right? Big button, top right corner, schedule now. There's various ways that that client, that potential client can schedule. 
They can use the call me now button. They can click the phone number. They can email me or they can schedule online. I use Spectora. There are other software companies out there. I like Spectora. I've got Spectora on my phone. This is a software report writing company. I inspect with Spectora on my phone. I inspect while using their software. And they also have a scheduling system. And they get the embed code. I put, give my, from Spectora, I get the embed code to schedule online. I give it to my website designer and they put it on my website, right? That's what you want. You want various ways for different types of people to schedule with you so you can make money. Here's another way. A lot of people like to go in between scheduling and, and talking on the phone. They like to do forms. So ask your website design company to do a form, F-O-R-M. And this is like a message thing. Send me a message. Maybe people just like to say, hey there, you know, um, hi, I'm too shy to talk directly to you, but I can text a message about hiring you, right? Send. That's why you have all these various types of ways to, um, to accommodate various types of clients, right? Some people just want to get right to the point and call you. Some people don't, right? And so I, I got that message. Somebody just gave me a message on my phone, right? And it's a form in my inbox and I can talk to them in my inbox. Uh, oh, you can't see it. Boop, there it is. So here it is. See it on my phone? It says, hi, I'm too shy to talk to them. And I can just talk to them right back. I can give them a message right back not by text, this is now email. Now I'm emailing people. You can call, you can text, now you can email all through the owner's app. And I have an owner's app because I hired the right design company. Maybe your design company can do this. I don't know. I'm familiar with the internet cheese vendor for website designs. What have we talked about? Natchez.org slash webinar, Natchez.org slash website, Big Ben inspections, the owner's app, chat with visitors, the clients app. Oh, let's go to Big Ben Inspections homepage. Scroll down. And this is an app that comes with my website design. Inspector Website Builder gives all of their clients an app for the inspector's clients. The inspector's clients can download this app or really it's for real estate agents. You know, that's the real thing actually because real estate agents just want to click something and schedule with you. They don't need to be sold. A website um, is really to uh, convert website visitors into clients and um, agents just want to like click and, and get in contact with you. So that's what we're, we've got here, okay? So the website design company, Inspector Website Builder, gives me an app for my clients and agents. And you could do it too. You can delete it afterwards if you wanted to. It's called Spaces. Um, I think that's the brand name. And then you can uh, submit your own app if you wanted to on the Google store or the app store, okay? Uh, let's see. So you can try it if you, if you want to type in your phone number and download my app as if you were my client. That'd be kind of funny. Um, just to try it out if you wanted to. But this is an app for my clients and agents. And my agents can schedule with me with a click of a button. Okay, let's see, where's my other um, branded app? Blog. Okay, another thing I like about my Big Ben Inspections website is a blog. And I think that's a feature that helps you as a home inspector make money. And here it is here. Go to my blog. First thing, the most important thing is to try to capture people's emails. So that's the, on the top. Don't miss the next article that I write for all of my clients, right? That's why I want to put on top. And then you have my posts. So I think six days ago, I was talking about skylights. Uh, I had a post about skylights. So it's kind of cool, you know? So you can have a blog. Why would you do a blog when you're already on social media saying stuff? Because Google loves unique content. So if you can write something unique, about what you are inspecting today. Maybe this week you came across something about skylights. Put it in a blog so it's set on your website and make sure you have um, that 
that page that your blog mm, uh, indexed, that's advanced SEO. So if you know how to do that, inspectorwebsitebuilder.com does that advanced SEO stuff. Because sometimes blog posts get hidden. So you need that indexed so that Google can find that unique content about something in particular. So maybe your clients are looking for a home inspector, but they're looking for a home inspector because, or maybe they're just looking for a roof inspection because of a weather event. They have water coming through a skylight. You may have people looking for like roof inspection, water leak, skylight. And if you have a blog, that will bring people, that will tell Google, I have that information that that person wants. And that's, that's what, what Google loves. Google loves matching people who are looking for something in particular to something of value. And it could be your little blog on your little website. That's why you should have a blog. Every home inspector should have a blog. That's another feature that helps you make money. FAQ, right? This was a, um, a page that my website design company made for me, right? And there's my text. I'll just click that out. It's called FAQ. Let me click it. Can you see it? FAQ? Go to bigbeninspections.com and, and click FAQ. And these are frequently asked questions. Um, what questions should you ask a home inspector? If you're wondering about hiring a home inspector, what should you ask a home inspector? Well, here's why should I hire, why should I hire you? And you give three answers. I have a thousand happy cl clients. I am a certified professional inspector CPI. I provide exceptional service. So under each answer is a, like a little paragraph that gives more information. I'm a certified professional inspector. I provide exceptional service, right? And this is an FAQ page that inspectorwebsitebuilder.com provides to all of the inspectors. And you can tweak all the answers. What do you do? Well, we inspect homes and buildings. We offer many di different types of inspections and we inspect everything listed here. So that's the link to the standards of practice. What really matters? This is a feature that helps you make money because you're getting rid of all these questions that a potential home buyer may have in their head. And they, they don't, you know, you answer them without picking up the phone, right? Just four, th what really matters? Just four things, four things that really matter during our home inspection. Or what really matters? Material defects in the summary report, right? I want my clients to know that I have a summary report of the major things and a, a, um, a little article about what really matters, a real estate agent's duty. That's what really matters. And what should I do as a home buyer, as a potential client? Walk and talk with your inspector. Read the inspector's promise. Read the standards of practice, agreement, report, and book and understand the inspector's responsibility. This FAQ is a really awesome page. And if you wanted to know the analytics, are people landing on this page or not? You have that owner's app to look at the analytics to see what page, I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, let's see, blog, FAQ, Google reviews, we saw that, content designed to convert. We talked a little bit about that. Like if you are wondering, okay, I want a, a website. What should I put on it? This is a template. Don't get scared of templates. Templates are great. Template means like this was designed for a particular business and it can be customized, but the content and the flow, someone on the forum was talking about a funnel where you gather a lot of people, bring them into your website and encourage them to move to your destination, which is you keep giving them juicy information or things, right? Of value in order to get them to the main page, which is the schedule now page, right? So this is designed. What do you put on your website? This is designed, this website is designed to convert people from left to right, essentially. Go from home to schedule now. And everything in between is encouraging, educating, um, motivating people along to tell the story of you and provide it valuable information and to show your passion about performing an inspection and give them concrete reasons why you should be hired and they should schedule now. And in your analytics, you can actually watch people land on your homepage, go to each page and find out if they, if you converted. And if the analytics are wrong, 
if you're not converting many people, if you have a hundred people in one day visiting your homepage and no one's scheduling, then you can talk to your website design company. And they're like, we've got a problem. Let me show you the analytics of my website, right? Is that the next thing? Oh, call me now button. We did that. Oh, certification and verification logos. Then we'll get the analytics. So go to my qualifications page. This is a cool thing. See this little thing? It's like, it's going back and forth. It says, click the verify. So you put that on your website. It helps you make money. It helps you. People need to know that you are certified and qualified and competent, right? Holding a home inspector license just means you've met the absolute state minimum to do something without breaking the law. That's a low bar. What you really need to do, whether you have to get a state license or not, is to get certified by InterNACHI. InterNACHI is the world's largest organization that trains and certifies home inspectors and commercial property inspectors. And if you're new, this is of great value because you don't, you lack something when you're new, a new inspector, you lack credibility. So what you wanna do is you want to borrow credibility from InterNACHI. You wanna borrow that trust. InterNACHI has trained and certified you. So you wanna borrow that trust that InterNACHI has on you and show that to your potential clients. And if you're a veteran inspector, this certification of InterNACHI affirms, ensures, confirms to your client that you are still qualified, highly qualified and competent because you've been a member of InterNACHI for a long time. So get to, if you click it, if you click that little squiggly thing, InterNACHI takes you to a basic page where they confirm that this person is indeed certified by InterNACHI. And you can have some extra information. This is all customized as well right, by InterNACHI. And there, here's my inspector certification logos. Every time I complete an online course provided by InterNACHI, I get a logo. And that logo automatically appears on my website because my website design company has this special embed code right there. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to upload logos anymore. One at a time, size them, you know, it's automatic. Okay, um, let's see, what are the, our other topics? Keep moving along, right? Okay, we have three more. We have analytics and reports, we have marketing and SEO, and then we have a, an article about SEO. So let's go to analytics and reports. I'm gonna show you the back side, the admin side of my website bigbeninspections.com. Let me just log into my Wix account. Okay, there it is there. I've got a few uh, websites, but let me select my Big Ben Inspections website. And I'll show you my, my page. This is what it looks like. And this is what my website design company provides me, right? Provides me a homepage. I can take a look at some insights, some, some uh, data about my blog or my posts or analytics and things like that. But what I really wanna do is I wanna show you my traffic overview. So I go down to analytics and reports and I go to traffic overview. Boom, well, it looks like I'm getting some traffic. You know, every once in a while it goes up and down and up and down and then whoa, yesterday, a couple of days ago, yeah, three days ago, I was up high. I was probably my blog, I was working on that. I don't know, right? And most of them are coming directly into my website. Some of them are coming from Google. That's really cool. Some from Inspector Website Builder or Bing or something like that. A lot of them are what? Brand new. That's what I like. That's what I want to see, right? Um, unless you're doing like maintenance inspections for clients, that'd be a good idea. Then you may have a lot of people who are already your clients who visited your website before visiting again. But these are new and um, people, right? And I can even see where they're coming from. Most of them are coming from the United States. I got Canada, Philippines, Italy, Norway, Germany, and China. You know, um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, behavior view. I can go behavior. How are my website visitors behaving? Where are they going? And this is what I wanted to show you. Like, this is analytics. If it's worth doing, it's worth measuring. Right? Don't just do something like, well, I wonder how my 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 website's doing like where are people going i don't know my website design companies keep saying wordpress okay 
if you hire InterNACHI's vendor for website designs, you get this analytics and you can take a look. A lot of the people that come to my homepage go directly to my services and fees. Yes, that's good news, right? Everyone wants, they're landing on my homepage. Remember my hero image like that? And they go to what I do. That's the, that's the logical next step. Here's the home inspector, best home inspector in Raleigh, right? I'm gonna educate you on your home. And then they're like, okay, well, what does he do? Our services and fees. They wanna know what I do for how much. That's perfect. Yep. So you can see what people are doing. They, most people go to my homepage and it's up, right? Then the next thing is services and fees and that's up. And then my qualifications and then schedule now. Schedule now is going up by 120%. That's awesome. I don't even have clients. That's how well my website is designed. I don't even have clients and everyone wants to schedule now. Actually, I get a lot of people trying to schedule through my Spectora online scheduler. It's kind of neat. Um, site speed. You go to site speed. I bet your website design company doesn't want to show you this, right? <laughs> you ask them, how fast is my website, right? It better be fast. Fast. Don't like slow website that comes up, right? This is my website designed by InterNACHI's vendor for website designs. Natchez.org slash website. It better be fast. And it is. It's pretty fast, right? This is my, I'm showing you what it looks like, right? And this is the mobile. I wonder what desktop. It better be fast. It, my website's loading fast. In 1.3 seconds. That's that. That's like the whole thing comes up in 1.3 seconds. This is the big thing. The LCP. If you don't know what LCP is, that's advanced SEO. And that's what my design company does for me, right? They look at the largest contentful paint. This is the biggest thing. How, how much time does it take for the biggest thing on your website to come up live? And it better be fast. And it is. That's good. It's all good. This is good. This is good. It's all good. You want to see, you, if you have a website design company, you don't have to hire an internet, choose one. But if you do have one, you want to make sure that they're doing you right, right? You want to make sure that they're they're doing you right, right? You want to make sure you're, you're, everything's good and fast. Or you want to look at the analytics. Where are people visiting my page? If you're spending hard-earned cash, you want everything. You want to own the domain. You want to own your website. You want to see what's going on. You want to see where they're going. You want to chat with everybody that's landing. This is your business. You need all the features and all the access anytime you want without going through somebody on the phone. Because they don't work on weekends, right? You'll get somebody, some, oh, hi, this is your website company, you know, we will be open nine o'clock Monday. Mm -mm. You want to be able to log into your website and your admin, like I'm showing you, and see what is going on. And if it ain't, if it's bad news, you want to get on that website design company, right? Okay, what was the next one? Uh, analytics, marketing and SEO. Oh, this is the fun one, this is fun. Marketing and SEO, what should we do? Let me show you. This is through my website. I get, I don't pay for this. I don't pay for this. This isn't extra fees or something like that. There's no, there's no management. Don't, don't pay for managing, so a total stranger managing your website uh, marketing. So here's what I like. Um, Wix, uh, my website design company, um, uh, uses Wix to build my website. So that I have all these features and, um, these extra features that make me money and I can create and schedule marketing activities. They give me a little calendar and it's customized and personalized for my home inspection business and my calendar. So today is what Friday. It's suggesting that I do, it's suggesting, right? Today's Friday, 27th. This is a little calendar. It's suggesting that I do something on social, which is really good. Friday uh, afternoons, that's a really good idea to do something on Facebook and or Instagram. These two are connected. And what do you do? Well, you share your something or another. This is the recommended. And you click it and it takes you there. Tomorrow, look, tomorrow I already have a blog scheduled at six o'clock in the morning. It's about roof inspections, right? But what am I doing next week? Well, it suggests that, on Monday, I email something. This is just a little graphic. You change this, right? This is just for exercise. Um, a Tuesday tip, I, I, it's suggesting I do a social media Tuesday tip. And then I've got, looks like I got something on my blog. I've got an article post coming out on 
uh, February 4th. So like, you know, sign up for my blog, right? This is kind of neat. This is a, a, a calendar. If you don't know what to do, you can actually use this and then hire a growth agent to do this kind of stuff. Maybe this is an hour's worth, this is an hour's worth, this is an hour's worth, three hours a week, right? At $20 an hour, 60 bucks, see how it goes. Hire a local real estate agent that's in your neighborhood. You should be talking to every neighbor and you'll probably bump up against a real estate agent who's not busy because most of them are not and say, hey, you know, I'm a home inspection, a home inspection company. Why don't you work for me for $20 an hour, a few hours a week and help me with my um, marketing activities. Do some social media posting. You know, so yeah, I follow you on social media, right? Yeah, you're good at that. Why don't you, I'll give you the content and you, you post it for me. Now you have a real estate agent working part-time. They, they have the gift of gab and they can network with real estate agents that you can never network with because they have a license as a real estate agent, right? And now you're, you can tell them what to do. You look smart. Hey, this week, Monday, I'm going to do this. Tuesday, I'm going to do that. Friday, I'm going to, you know? And it all comes with your website design. Marketing planner. Marketing planner. Oh, I got the marketing plan. And SEO. Okay, let's go to SEO. Search engine optimization. So my back end of my website, I can see the SEO. I don't have to... Um, I don't have to rely on my website design company to tell me the truth. I can see it. And here it is. Wow, I, my impressions are up and my clicks are up too. This is really cool. I got on December 18th, I got 11 impressions. Okay, that's cool. You know, I can see my clicks as well. You know, I had a real big click day there, but maybe I'm kind of low click day there. I don't know. Uh, and then most significant changes, my pages, um, Big Ben Inspections has increased with a, a huge ton of people. Um, coming um, to my page. And then my second page is scheduled now. So, so people are going to Big Ben Inspections and there's proof that my website has been designed. The content of my website is, has been designed and it's successful because people, I don't even have clients. People are, want to schedule now. People are visiting my website. This is straight from Google. Look, this is Google Search Console. This will tell you the data. It's going to my homepage and the second most popular page right now is scheduled now. That's fantastic. Queries. These are keywords that people type in order to find me. And they either see me, my Google business profile, or they actually click on me. So let's take a look. People are Googling Home Inspector Raleigh and I'm getting a lot of impressions. Am I getting clicks? I'm getting clicks on not Home Inspector Raleigh, but Big Ben Inspections and Ben Gramico. I This makes sense because no one's looking for me, Home Inspector and Raleigh. I don't do home inspections, but people are looking for me because they kind of know me. So they go to Google and they type this, this keyword search, Big Ben Inspections and Ben Gramico, right? So for you, maybe they would be typing um, roof leak um, South Africa or um, uh, Home Inspector Atlanta, Georgia, right? So um, this is really neat. This is data from Google. I scroll down a little bit more with my SEO, and this is the advanced SEO stuff that you can ask your website design company to work on, especially this SEO check checklist. There's, there's SEO settings, there's a redirect manager, there's site inspection, site verification, site maps, robots. So if you go to the SEO checklist, I got an SEO checklist, and um, I wanted to know what SEO things have been done on my website. And so my design company can actually show me what they did. They just don't say, yeah, we do, um, we do SEO, right? Say, oh, what, what was it? Show me exactly what you did. And let me see that you did it, right? Let me get a confirmation that you actually did something. You don't just say SEO, show me that you actually did something. So InterNACHI's vendor has this for you. This is my website. And step one was, we got to get that homepage ready for Google. What exactly does that mean? You set the homepage title for results. And he's, here's all the tasks completed for my homepage. My homepage title tag is now optimized and includes at least one keyword, my business name or site name, my business location, and the text length between 10 and 80 characters. I have to add the homepage description for search results. 
which means current metadata subscription. And your, my homepage's description is now optimized and includes one keyword, one business site name, and this is all done. These are all things that need to be done and the tasks for each one, right? Here's another one. Optimize all of my site pages for search engines. What does that mean? Well, I have to add alt text to all of my images on my homepage. That task was completed. I had to add contact to my homepage. That task, social networks on my homepage. And you can see everything that was done in my advanced SEO. This is a basic SEO and advanced SEO, right? And all this was done for every page on my website. So when someone, when, when my design company says we did SEO, I can double check. Yeah, you did. Thank you. Very good. That's all really well and done, right? You should have that data. That's a feature that helps you make money. You just don't have SEO on your website. You make sure as the owner of the website, the well, owner of the website that you um, know what is going on with your website so that your website is making you money and is appearing on Google. Okay. What's the last thing we want to do? We want to go to uh, natchiorg slash forum and then search for introduction to SEO by Alicia Gramico. Let's do that. Let's go to natchiorg slash forum, natchiorg slash forum. You can go there directly like that, or go to any natchiorg page, go to more, scroll down to forum. And then top right corner, you have this little search feature and you type introduction to SEO. And there it is, introduction to SEO for home inspector websites. And you read it and it's by Alicia Gramico. I know her. And this is a really good article about SEO. If you wanna know about SEO and you wanted to talk to someone else about SEO, like your website design company, now you kind of know what to ask about, right? You want to be empowered with the knowledge, basic knowledge that you need in order to be on the same page with somebody who's talking to you about SEO. You just don't want to pay somebody to do SEO. You want to be on the same level with them. And you want that backdoor data, that admin data, in order to keep track of what they're doing and making sure like, like the site speed is fast or the SEO checklist has been done. Things like that. Yeah. These are features that you should have that's related to your website. So we went over these 15 things. We went over natchiorg slash webinar for the next webinar. And we're going to, let me just go there. Let me just make sure everybody knows, go to natchiorg slash webinar. And this is going to be a good one. You want to leverage your Google business profile to attract leads. That's going to be a good um, class right there. Natchi.org slash website. That's where you get a custom website by InterNatchi's official vendor for website designs. BigVendInspections.com. Take a look at my website. That was designed by InterNatchi's vendor for website design. Um, I like it. Um, give me some criticism and critique, um, but take a look at those features and make sure your website has those features. I mean, you can ha have more. You can add a ton of pages but you should have at least this. And it's okay to start with a template. Think of a template as a starting point, and then you customize and build from that, right? Website owner's app. We talked about the website owner's app, how the phone is, is part of how you, oh, look, I still have people visiting. <laughs> um, chat with visitors, that's a huge feature. Um, your clients and agents app, so your agent can just click a button on his or her, her phone and schedule with you. Um, a branded app. Oh, did I show you that? Did I show you what that looks like? Well, uh, yeah, I think I did. Did I, did I show you what the owner's app looks like? I want to make sure. So, uh, okay. So this is on my phone. Yep. And then this is the um, this is the owner's app. So it's a little different from my home inspector website, right? It just gets to the point. You can meet me. There I am, right? That's me. Okay. Yep. I am certified. And then you can schedule now. You can schedule now. And this goes to the schedule page, right? This goes to the schedule page. Schedule. That's what the agents want. Schedule now. Okay. So they'll, hey, do you want to schedule with Big Man? Yeah. Okay. I have this button right here. You know, you don't have to type in Big Man. And then you can even have a podcast 
right? You can have a blog, you have a part, you can do anything here, but this is the owner's app. I mean, sorry, this is my client's app. So I wanted to show you that. Okay, and now we're back to a branded app. You can actually have one in the Apple store. You should have a blog. You should have uh, frequently asked questions. You gotta have Google reviews. Google reviews are really important, probably more important than SEO, frankly. And um, you should ask your website design company, how do I get Google reviews? How do I get them? Help me get Google reviews. Tell me the step-by-step -step process on how to get Google reviews. They should be able to, to provide that content, uh, those step-by-step -step, um, tasks for you to get Google reviews. Content designed to convert. Yep, we talked about that. Call me now button. We, we saw, That was really cool how easily that worked. It's really great. Thanks, Internachi. Certification and verification little logo that blinks, you know, and all the certification logos. We talked about that. Analytics and report, the traffic overview, the behavior overview, the site speed. We talked about marketing and SEO. The marketing homepage had a marketing planner. Remember the calendar and SEO? And then we saw that article, series of articles about SEO so that you can talk to your website design company with the knowledge that you need in order to be successful. Um, let's see. Let's go back to that page there. All right, that was a one hour webinar about Home Inspector website design features to make money. Uh, let's see, Lane says, um, I already have a website, pretty good traffic, good presence, it happens to my, what happens to my Google ranking? So if I switch to natural provider, will I lose my presence a while, my presence showing up in searches, I get 90% of my business from my website, don't change. Don't do it. Just keep it. Just keep going. If you like that, if everything is working, right? Jumping ship is difficult, man. It is hard. Um, don't worry about the traffic losing the Google ranking. Um, it's really about the domain. So if the domain, you just redirect your domain, right? It's like adding a page to your website. Your existing website, you can remove a page or add a page. You're not going to lose ranking because you change the content. In fact, Google likes that, right? So in my opinion, just redirecting your domain. But if everything's going well, right, then don't rock that boat, man. Just make money. Make money. That's what I would do. So I wouldn't switch. Uh, you, you can call up to see what they, uh, you know, see what they, they, uh, what they think. Um, I, I know that that's me. If everything's going well, right, don't change it. So um, how does internet warranty works? I have no intentions nor money to buy anyone's house. Right, so just go to nachi.org slash buy, nachi.org slash buy and get the details there, nachi.org slash buy. Uh, no, 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 thank you very much. Uh, domain name is a big deal. My company is Modern as much would Modern be too long? Oh, about domain names, like Maldonado, Maldonado Home Inspections, MaldonadoHomeInspections.com would be too long. Maybe, maybe, or you get it and then find a shorter domain name and try to, um, you can have more than one domain name pointing to the same website. And you use a shorter domain name for certain reasons, like maybe you're talking to somebody or they're texting something and they're trying to type in you know, a short domain name. Then you want a short domain name so it goes to the website and keep your long domain names for um, search engine optimization, keyword searches, and for like your last name or um, your business card, or maybe you already have it. So I like, I like Google domains. Google domains is one place to find a new domain. Wix also has um, a search engine thing. I forget what the domain is. Oh, domain search. So I go to Wix and domain search. So Maldonado home inspection .com. Uh, It's recommended and it's available. You can get it right now. Um, I would go like Maldonado. Maldonado inspects. That's available too. Maldonado inspects is available. Maybe it's just um, Maldonado. Do you have that? Mm, Maldonado? No. Well, you know, you can, that's what I would do. I would just fool around and goof around to see if you can find something shorter, 
right? Last time I did um, bigbennyboo.com and I connected to my website and it actually worked. Big Benny Boo. No one, no one took bigbennyboo.com. Hmm. Does anyone, <laughs> they want some, does internet you offer a phone service number that forwards to my phone and indicates the call is coming from my business number? I would rather not have a personal, I don't know. Uh, you can just get a, a another uh, phone number, a second phone. How long does a web design take from start to finish? I don't know, but Inspector Website Builder uh, only takes five to 10 days. Curious if no maintenance fees, what is the $16 a month fee for Internet Website Builder service? Um, so the fees, very straightforward. I think the pricing is page there and you get that. And then the fee for $16 a month um, is paid to Wix. So I think it, where does it say 16? Oh, there it is. You will pay Wix a hosting fee, $16 a month to host your website. So there's the design fee for $299. And then there's the hosting fee. You have to, you have to get your website designed. That should be a one-time fee not a monthly fee, it should be affordable. And you need to pay somebody to put that design on the internet. You can pay Wix, you can pay Google, GoDaddy, you, can, you gotta pay somebody. But um, website um, Inspector Website Builder uses Wix. So you pay Wix the monthly fee to host your website design on the internet. And it shouldn't be more than $20 a month. I think there's a $16 a month. Yeah, two ninety nine one time design fee and sixteen dollars a month. Yep. Okay. Good question. Uh, what's the other question? Also, people looking at my website are not calling me. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe go on the forum and post that question. Um, you know, if you want some harsh criticism, you got thick skin. People go on the forum and say, "Hey, take a look at my website. Here's the link. What am I doing wrong?" The good thing about Inspector Website Builder is that you get to see which pages are successful and where people are going. Remember, that was that um, behavior overview, right? You can see people landing, who, where they go. They land on the homepage, then where do they go, right? Um, I already have Wix and owner's app, number way of traffic. Can Website Builder evaluate the current site? Sure, just give them a call. Um, can you set your call up? Can you set your call button with a do not disturb for certain hours, sleeping, use? I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, actually. Good questions. Give it a try. I'm not sure if you want to do that, though. Like, why would you tell people not to call me? Again, like if somebody wants to call you at 8 a.m. or 8 p.m., 10 p.m., and hire you for a $500 home inspection, um, I think the last thing that comes to my mind is to set that at do not disturb. I want people, somebody has $500 at 10 p.m. and they want to give that $500 to me at 10 p.m., disturb me. Yeah, you can you can call me. Sure. Yeah, because they're going to call someone. They're going to call my competition. Yeah. No, I'm not. I want to be disturbed. That's, that. yeah. So that's my recommendation. Yeah, don't, don't. Yeah, you don't want to restrict people from calling you. You want to open that door up. That's why you should have online scheduling, actually. We have an screen on a comment about WordPress. Oh, okay. I don't, I really don't know much about WordPress, but like um, uh, I used to do it with WordPress in the beginning, about 10 years ago. And thank goodness Wix came along. Weebly was there, Squarespace, those kind of things that are in between, you know, the HTML code, then there's WordPress, and then there's, like these drag and drop things. That's where the fun is. I'm trying to have fun. And I like when home inspectors have access to everything. Um, and uh, it just takes longer if you're gonna, it just takes longer and it's more expensive to do anything in WordPress. That's a fact. Just takes longer, takes longer to do anything in WordPress. I know, it takes longer to do anything in WordPress. And it, it's more expensive. I agree. Uh, I'm gonna... Warranty works. I don't intend to anyone buy a house. I'm looking at the comments here. 
does the app kind of uh, does the app distinguish a feature? Yeah, it's, I had very much like this conversation. I took it down because I got tired of the 24 7, 34 interaction. Well, uh, yeah, you, you don't have to be notified. I just turn on my notifications on my phone for this class. Um, you can turn off the notifications um, completely, or you can um, have certain notifications come in. Uh, how much traffic do you usually receive on an average on a weekly basis? If you don't mind, uh, you can go into your Wix, right? So I have a lot of people landing on my website. I think I showed you the SEO analytics. Um, uh, can you incorporate this with ISN included? Yes. So if ISN or any other software provider provides you with an embed code, you can embed that code, that feature on your website. Um, let's see, how about, what is a conversion of your website? Um, I don't have clients, so it's zero. <laughs> I don't take anybody's money. Anyway, but I can see people going to my um, online scheduler through my software provider. Um, and I get a, probably a home inspection request every day. And I charge $500 on my website, right? I have a Wix website. Oh, can the website builder look in about? Oh, we can't. Yep, we already talked about these. No, no, no. E-commerce site has another page. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think I went through all the questions and all the ch chats, and uh, I think that's it. Right? Did you have fun? If you have any more questions, please feel free to email me. I'm at ben at internachi.org and Let's go to the webinar, natchi.org slash webinars. Natchi.org slash webinars and natchi.org slash website. That's where you'll find Inspector Website Builder. All right, thank you so much. I'm Ben Gromico from Internachi. That was an Internachi webinar about website design features that help you make money. Please go to natchi.org slash webinar to register for the next webinar and go to natchi.org slash website to get a new custom home inspector website built for you. Thanks, bye everybody. Stay safe and healthy. I'll see you next time, bye.